Frickin' doody. It's Thursday afternoon. It's two minutes past three. Anyone in the mood for some of the best drum and bass vinyl ever pressed? I know I am. Snips. You got damn right, baby boy. Mm. Oh, okay. Right, go to the office kitchen. Quickly. Cup of tea. Three bickies. Can of red stripe. Line of wonk. Get it done. We're going hard as a motherfucker today. Baby boys, baby girls, sound advice, Ronnie Size, Easy Rollers remix. Oh, my baby boys! Who is in the freaking house? El Tex in the house, Reese Mossen's in the house, Squiff's in the house, John Anderton's in the house. Oh, oh, John Anderton, you fine, fine piece of ass that you are. Oh, sorry to objectify you, but you just can get a boy going. What can I say? Damn, cheers for that, mate. (laughs) 
Fun Socks is in the house. Doug Renflesh is in the house. Paulie the Pimp's in the house. Den Tweet's in the house. Power Jen's in the house. Yeah, it's hot as a motherfucker in here. Bildo, you absolute ledge. You're also very kind, very, very kind. John, you're damn right your ass is your best feature. I should know. I've eaten it. Right, not going to play all of that. There's about 15 seconds left, but sorry, I'm going to have to cut it short. Guys, going to flip this one over like a lubricated lover. Chin snips. Uh, Bailey remix of Forget Me Nots. This is a naughty bit, man. This is... Um, Look. I've never gone too far with this. I've never forgotten about Dre, but I had forgotten about this tune, you know? <sighs> One of the saddest things of losing my grandmother to Alzheimer's was watching her gradually forget about Dre. But I, um, this is Bailey remix of Forget Me Nots, and this is a naughty bit, man. And I was, because I was going to play for Sound Advice remix, which I did. And then I was like, oh, yeah. What's that? What was that? What's that Bailey bit on the other side? Oh, my days. Hey, Chody! All the good capitalists are coming out today. You bad motherfuckers. Thank you, sir. Eltek, thank you for your kind words about Jungle Ate My Hamster. If you're not on it already, that's my audio book. Telling tales of woe about a young up-and-coming DJ and his foray with dystopian call centres, low-quality narcotics and being very unattractive to women. Jen is listening outside in the garden.
Ryan Scales has given me grief. Justifiably. I haven't had any of the Rankins Records episodes up on Spotify or the podcast for a little while. I'm saving them up. I'm, sa- I'm, sa- I'm saving them up for when the thresh- new Threshold app comes out. God, if it ever comes out. Uh, which it will come out soon. But I will make sure that every single one is in there and in there all properly updated every time. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, do a load of special ones to go in there as well. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. I promise you. Anyway, look, talking about being outside and the sun's shining and being in the garden and stuff and being in a bloody red hot studio. But I tell you what, do it for you guys because I love you and I know you need it. And it's basically the funnest part of my week. But apart from that, you know, it's just a freaking absolute freaking warhammer of a tune. Oh, yeah. What? All right, Kate, look, just sorry about this, look, but we do have to get something straight, okay? Obviously, shoe throwers are shoe throwers. Shoe throwers are hard. Shoe throwers, flip flop flingers, Yeezy yeeters, high heel hurlers, trainer trebucheters. But. And there are warhammers, of course. There are duvet removers. You know, the nomenclature is growing by the day. However, what's the shoe thrower equivalent of a liquid roller? Logistics, together, you know, high contrast, the basement track. The list goes on. Blackout, logistics. I mean, you know, all of these bits. There needs to be, what's the liquid equivalent of a shoe thrower? We need to get this, look, we need to get some sort of clarity on this. We need to assemble a council, some sort of, I don't know, some sort of team, get a think tank, you know, a, all, of, all of this. But anyway, I'm, I'm prepared to fund it as long as it doesn't cost over 30 quid. Um, but let's put the fucking nut on that one, all right? A top lip, a top lip sniffer. It's just a gurney tune, though, isn't it? Mm. There's crossover. I gave you everything that you did to me. It's nuanced. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. You had your chance. Now it's time to leave. Can you appreciate the things I did for you? No. It's too late to shape up. Cause, baby, we it's not quite a top lip sniffer. Of course, the basement track for high contrast. Only Hospital, the gods. Wow, the build just dishing out facts about the most expensive liquids in the world, just apropos for nothing. Scorpion venom coming in at number one with $39 million per gallon. Oh yeah. 
Oh, jeez, that's a lot of scorpions you got to milk, though, right? you got to toss off a lot of scorpions for that. Fuck you, know. So I'm not surprised it's that expensive. That's going to take you a week. <laughs> special little tweezers and just toss him off while he's trying to sting you. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> oh, scorpion venom, not scorpion jizz. Ah, yeah, same thing. Horseshoe crab blood, 60 grand a gallon. Mercury, 3,400 a gallon. I know printer ink's pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some good... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some good options for liquid shoe throwers. Oh, imagine that, liquid shoe throwers. Just drop a couple on the tongue. So what have we got? A cravat shaker. Nice. Like it. Keeping with the posh, middle class, <laughs> white boy vibe of hospital. Uh, <laughs> a groove incentivizer. Nice. Elk stroker. Bottom lip biter. Shirt lifter. Uh, soul tickler. Um, an event horizon. Sure. Flip flop. Uh, yep. Yeah, flip flop thrower. Flip lob. Lip lob. Soap bar. Swoosherizer. Nice. It's all coming, isn't it? It's all coming. We'll get there in the end. Boo boo kisses. <laughs> Band aids. Harry Roberts, correct. Uh, of course, Logistics Together is a certified liquid shoe thrower. Like a loafer launcher. Mm, moccasin massager. A wizard sleeve. Listen, guys, we'll get there. I believe in you. We'll know it when we found it. We're not sure what we're looking for, but goddamn, we'll know it when we find it. Right, that's how you do a fucking outro, yeah? I'm high ranking. I am the leading expert in drama based outros as i let you know this morning on coffee and memes and that high contrast as ever a class fucking act that's how you do an outro none of this like fadey nonsense for 30 seconds and they're just cutting it off like a freaking guillotine jesus christ these modern day neurofunk producers have bloody well got stuff to answer for I'll tell you names that sound like ikea furniture Fucking neuro by numbers. I, oh, I, well, I, I bloody, well, well, okay, right. J Joe, Bernie Joe of um, Unit Next Door fame came in earlier, fucking effing and blinding, demanding more Dillinger to be on the show. Smash stuff up, kick the dog. <sighs> it's an absolute <laughs> nightmare. He's, 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 he's a menace. Anyway, this one's for you, baby boy. Howard, are these tunes descriptions or craft beers? They'd make great craft beer names. Grundle muffins. A ham hocker. <laughs> Splasher. Yeah. Soul tickler. Yeah.
Happy America Day to anyone listening uh, on the other side of the pond. Dicks out for Donny T and all of that. Is America great again or is he going to need another term? Let me know in the chat. I think Sam Keenan might be close, actually. He says the liquid tunes you mentioned are all Saturday night specials. <laughs> like, I, I, there's something about that. I like that. Uh, Dan sang Penge Warfler. Nice to hear Penge getting the shout out that it deserves for being the uh, sort of mecca of list, liquid DB, I guess. Big Balloon Huffer. Squirter, Dan Tweed. Squirter, I could, yep, 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 sure. You can have another Dillinger track after this, but it's got to be off kilohertz because I'm holding it in my hand. Anyway, that's uh, all the things. Dillinger. Yeah. Well, he's in the sun drinking cider, smoking a doob and listening to Rankin's records. He says he's had worse afternoons and I'm inclined to agree. Um, good fucking lad. Right, okay, I've got... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we? God, Christ. What have we got on here? Uh, Good Girl, Lemon D, Ride With Us, Dillinger, Crunch, fucking tune. Uh, Lemon D, Just Roll, Dillinger, Hands in the Air, Lemon D, Afterlife, featuring Michelle Gale, Dillinger, Time Out, Lemon D, Program One. I'm going to go for Hands in the Air, because um, no one's set out different, and um, I haven't heard it in ages, and it's a bit of a bit of a turkey bopper. You know what I mean? Here we are. Bit of that. Fucking bit of a turkey twizzler, you know what I mean? Anyway, oh, yeah, I do like Saturday night special. <laughs> it's a bit of a Saturday night special, isn't it? Bit of a gala dinner. That <laughs> chick, it's posh, it's good time. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, fucking gala dinner. Who for? Cats protection? I don't know, I don't care. Right. Yeah. Doug's in the garden as well. It's 
still injured doing that vocal. So versatile. Big Premies in the chat. Gerard Prem. Jake's saying that this is a lovely tune uh, for a bukkake party at the weekend. He's not wrong. Ben Virgo says he's still waiting for the DJ Gov, aka Andy C in disguise, Rankin's Records special. I've never seen Gov and Andy C in the same place at the same time. It's worth thinking about, isn't it? it was Gov that suggested to Andy C that he do the double drop of Masochist and Signal. Right, raise your hands and to the air tonight. Good freaking stuff. That's a bang on that tune, love that. Anyway, LTech was requesting uh, some audio and it just happened to be there at the end. I've got loads more, but couldn't I tell you where it is? So I haven't heard this in a long time and frankly, I, I wouldn't be able to pick it out of an identity parade, but I'm going to have a go at it because, I mean, it must be good if I bought it and it's by audio, so it must be good by that fact alone. Here we go. It's audio and risk or audio and Mackie. Audio and Mackie. It's called Sound Assault. It's on Invaders. Invader. Invader. Uh, for Magic Finest. Oh, I like it already. Facebook stream's been pulled.
This is a naughty bit. Coming to YouTube from Facebook, please make sure you subscribe. So I fucking hate Facebook. <laughs> so annoying. Smash that like button as well while you can. You know, just for lols and that. Yeah, man, that's audio and risk. It's called uh, sound uh, sound pants, sound assault. Um, right, fuck it, going to play the beginning because of reasons, uh, because of personal reasons. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, man, what record? Best record of 1999? Was it? Ni- uh, uh, yeah, it's got to be one of them, hasn't it? I mean, best record of 1998 was <laughs> Locust. And... Um, Got that down there, play that next. Okay, here we go. We're going back in time, baby boys and baby girls. Mm-hmm. Anyway, dicks out for this one. Ha <laughs> ha 
Move Infusion in the beginning. One of the best. Cut slow. Come on. Locust Mix. Ed Russian Optical. Just and and fierce, allegedly. Uh oh, man, Christ. Yeah. Yeah, it's just steam straight into it, man. Just fucking just fucking do this shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna play Incarnate, but um yeah, this is you know, the plate for Atlantis is in there instead because of reasons, I guess. Let's just play Atlantis then. <laughs> I could see discussion over a new outfit for uh, for Snips uh, is being had. I mean, it's up to him, her, uh, Z. It's up to Z. Anyway, oh, sorry, it's up to Lob. Squiff, uh, sorry, uh, Snips. Snip. Don't don't mix Squiff and Snips. They're not even the same species. Snips' his preferred pronoun is Lob. Just FYI. Name a better respace than this. Don't worry, I'll wait.
Mikey, you son of a gun. Cheers, buddy. Oh, little mid-afternoon fun token. Lovely stuff. Now this tune is a top lip sniffer. Come on, when that race comes in originally, like there's st- there is not a top lip top lip going unsniffed in the house. I'm telling you. Ultimate top lip sniffer, I'm freaking telling you. Anyone that disagrees, I fight you. Bare knuckle, let's do it. They call me the Artem Lobov of drum and bass. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, nothing is comparable to Lobov. He is he is the goat. He is the greatest of all time. Um, talking of greatest of all times, this could be a contender for greatest race of all time, but it's not as good, in my humble opinion, as drum and bass's leading expert on outros. Uh, this is, uh, I mean, y- y'all already know what this is. Oh baby. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dancing Queen, next tune, mate, coming up after this. Boy Hugh Downers in the chat. Catch him live tonight on Threshold at nine.
Please notice the little white label stuck in the middle of this. Yeah, you damn sure have been juggling this. <laughs> was Planet Dust by a little outfit known as Bad Company. Well, they are just a bunch of rowdy boys led by this strange, weird-looking boy named Dan who couldn't have, couldn't have rowdy up a synthesizer. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, it's 4th of July, Independence Day. God bless you all. God bless America and that. Uh, this is uh, American Beauty bootleg. Mate, chicks, matrix, mattress, and future bed, and um, they're just lying down, just making tunes in the sack. Just a couple of guys <laughs> in a bed together, just turning out some tunes. Uh, just having a, just, you know, just doing things that a couple of guys in the bed do. You know, just more common wise. A future band and matrix are they the more common wise of drum and bass? I don't know. Mikey knows. Cheesy, but the best kind. You're damn right. Alright, mate. Just imagine Kevin Spacey. Just... Ugling you, <laughs> sneaking up behind you, just sniffing you, sniffing your neck, putting a hand on you. Kevin Spacey just swanking in the shower. <laughs> Best part of his day. <laughs> Kevin Spacey just in the back seat of your car. No trousers. Strumming away. Having the time of his life while you drive him to work. <laughs> Just putting his hand into your bath water. <laughs> just trying to deflect Kevin Spacey's advances.
probably a little bit old for spacey. Sad times. <laughs> well, so first you ruin Andy C with this Andy cat. The C stands for communism. And now, now Kevin Spacey wanking everywhere is to this song. Damn you. <laughs> Martin Day says, to be fair, I'd let Spacey nonce me up. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Send him a DM on Twitter. So gross. It's basically the end of the show. I've got time for one more. Uh, this has been played many times on the show and it will be played many times again. Uh, this is Alliance Through My Eyes, um, which is off um, uh, Bad Taste LP. Um, bad Company presents Bad Taste, the album. Um, yeah. Anyway, it's track F and fucking hell, is it good? Jesus Christ. For God's sake. God, it's getting very noncy in the chat. Manchester, I'm afraid I have to correct you there. Bill Cosby, not technically a nonce. I'm afraid just your garden variety rapist. Ugh. R. Kelly getting a look in. I can't believe people in the chat are rating nonces. This is an all-time low for Rankin's records. <laughs> I mean, this is some Rankin radio shit, right? <laughs> Westwood? Seriously? No. This is not good. This is... <laughs> this isn't a platform for outing people.
God, the chat is turning into one of the most brutal rumour mills I've ever seen. <laughs> Seems a lot of people's PE teachers were nonces. French teacher as well. Had an art teacher and a tech teacher that were fired for, from what I understand, superimposing uh, photos of school school children's faces onto uh, hardcore pornography on the school computers. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, um, I'm very amused by what's going on in the chat, so I'm just going to carry on for a while, I think. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, fresh exhale. Let's freaking do this. Oh, let's do it right from the TIP. Come on. Come on. Dial N for nonce. Jeez, I don't know if we should have any noncing in the threshold alphabet. Probably not, man. Sorry, one second, I just gotta take this keeps slipping down and just making stuff sound shit. Skepticism about Westwood in the chat. People want answers. Crazy, the crazy frog now being outed as a nonce. That doesn't surprise me. You know when you see someone on the news and like, oh, so and so has been arrested for noncing. They got a picture of them. You're like, yeah, why not sooner? <laughs> like the, all the signs were there. I mean, crazy frog. Come on. Christ, he had his wanger out the whole time. Why did no one spot this? Where was the Me Too movement back then? Unbelievable. Stuff that went on in the early noughties. Disgrace.
Anyway, time's up, Crazy Frog. Coming for you. Just mob him on Twitter. Forget going to the police. Just mob him on Twitter. Hell of a record, just threw it all in there, didn't he? Fresh, uh, exhale, inhale, remix. Um, I really must try and dig out somewhere off that old hard drive the original version of that because um, I like it more. Is uh, long and short, but it was originally a track called Hellraiser, I think, that was um, him and Swire. But uh, then there's like the whole jungle sound gold thing. I don't know, actually, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it, probably not. Anyway, here's the most up to date record that I'll have played on the show it's that Chase and Status remix of Valley of the Shadows. Spat it knocking about down there for a little bit. Thought, why not? You know, we're here, aren't we? We we run over. The talks turned um, talks turned naughty, isn't it? Fuck it, might as well. You know, just let let me let me know what you think, guys. Let me know. Tom Dilly's just arrived in the chat, knowing nothing of what has been <laughs> has been going on. Poor boy. <laughs> friend Pete, uh, aka Tracy Rhodes, he has a list in the in the barber shop that he runs. Just a little little list of people he suspects might be nonces in the uh, in the public eye. And then when one of them is found out to be a nonce, takes this little list out, crosses them out, puts it back in the drawer. People come from far and wide to have their hair cut and have a look at his list. It's terrifying stuff, man.
brilliant. It was more brilliant than the sun. It was well brilliant, mate. So brilliant. Um, that's the Chasing State remix of our Valley of the Shadows by Andy Communism. Um, what are we doing here? I've got these Mampy Swift bits. I can't remember which one I want to play. Is it Resurrection or is it Tripping? Tripping. Let's have a look. This one's Resurrection. Oh, so they've got the same bleep at the beginning, haven't they? That's a nice bit, isn't it? It's not the bit I wanted, though. Um, this, however, is... Uh, well, saying, genuine question, would you bring the meme board onto the other shows? What's the meme board? Meme. Meme board. I've been meaning to do bingo cards, though. Do a competition, do a weekly bingo. It's with things that get said a lot on the show. saying most of the Tory party are pedos. Mate, most of fucking Westminster, I reckon. Thanks, Ollie. Paying two quid to call me a nonce. I guess I could have a section of uh, of my life where people just paid to insult me. I mean, people do it for free enough on the internet as it is. So if I could find a way to monetize it, that'd be pretty cool.
uh, thank you again, Ollie, for upgrading that to massive nonce. And thank you to Richard, who has chosen to donate but not insult. So that's very kind of you, very kind of you. Um, in answer to your question, Will, yes, I can get the soundboard on to other shows, and you're right, I should probably get the sample of... Um, was it Phil Collins? No, it wasn't Phil Collins. Was it Phil Collins, the nonsense bit from Brass Eye? <laughs> Trip in by Mampy, Mumma na Mumma na Mampy Swift. The Mampy Swift! Okay, yes, fine. Let's have this sub focus remix of uh, Squelch and then. Um, what time is it? God, it's getting on, man. It's getting on. I've, I've, I've got work. Um, Squelch. Uh, yeah, we should keep an eye on Martin. He's been coming out with a few bits in the chat, hasn't he? Not saying necessarily arrest him. Just might want to have a little peek on his hard drive. That's all I'm saying. Check his hard drive. Not to worry, Martin Day is, is a brave boy of ranking radio, therefore no need to check his hard drive. He's fine. He's alright, he's with me. This, uh, I see MC Firefly getting a mention in the chat. I had not heard of this uh, character before the incident of racism. Are there just a lot of MCs that I've not heard of? There was, who's that fucking loon that goes on about bloody conspiracy theories and fucking anti the anti-vaxxer MC? He's, 
he's mad. Oh. Literally, he is mad as a box of frogs. He's basically fake news in an MC. What's his name? He does all the bloody jump up. Yes, MC Traumatic, that's him. Yeah, he's as tinfoil hat as it fucking gets. Like a tinfoil hat anti-vaxxer vegan. Like... There's <laughs> no saving him. He's out there worried about turning the frickin' frogs guy. I will say, Subfocus, that outro is a little bit, little bit prompt, yeah? So just have a, let's just wheel up, wheel. <laughs> Frank is out here wheeling up an outro. <laughs> just, uh, come on. Oh, God, that, that, that is a bit quick, I will say. I mean... Hard to, I mean, is there really legitimately anything, uh, any part of Nick's entire catalogue that I could even vaguely, you know, be uh, justified in critiquing? Maybe just that outro is just a little, little bit tight. <laughs> so, hey, sorry, Nicky, it's uh, just that little, little nugget to, ah, just an extra second there. Just a little, little tiny verb out on it. Maybe, maybe they fucked it in mastering. I don't know, but... Uh, I'm not saying it's ruined drum and bass for me entirely. I mean, there'll still be, will be some drum and bass records I'll be able to listen to after that. Uh, guys, this has been an emotional episode of, of Rankin's Records for many reasons. Um, uh, but thank you all for being fucking hilarious and just making me laugh. Over uh, Mikey's now out deleting his messages. He's, <laughs> he's I, I know the one that you deleted as well. <laughs> I just thought, oh, actually, I just didn't say that. He's hard. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Great times. Uh, anyway, yeah, this has been wonderful. I love you all. Uh, this has been one of my favourite episodes for ages. Um, yeah, I love you all. I'll see you at tomorrow morning at 10am uh, for, for Coffee and Memes. Um, yeah, cheers, guys. Um, thanks. Um, try the veal. Guys, I love you. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Don't forget, tonight at 7pm, it's the Eastern Front Boys. I think they're playing only music by Americans um, because, uh, obviously, the Americans liberated them from communism in the, um, I don't know, the 50s or something. You know, in America, we're just going around liberating people, aren't they? Right, who's got oil? Who wants liberating? Anyway, and then 9 o'clock, our boy, Hugh Downer, brings the All Aboard with Duff show at 9, live as a motherfucker, just all up in this bitch. Just, 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 just bitching. It's the DMB gossip column. Fucking coffee and memes is the DMB gossip column. Anyway, guys, I love you. I'll uh, see you soon. <laughs>